Good afternoon, everybody. It is a gorgeous day out here in a little bit of springtime we get in Central Texas. And I'm going to be demoing a product, testing it out on one of my projects. This is my basic utility trailer. This little thing's awesome. It's a 5x12, single axle, 3,500 pound rated. It did come with a fold down gate that is removable. I've had this thing for over 20 years and it's done everything I've ever asked it to do. I added a little rack right here that a toolbox mounts to. And over time, it's just taken a lot of wear and tear. The floorboards, just sitting right over there, I need to get rid of, finally just rotted out. So I've cut them all out. I'm going to replace all the floorboards. I'm also gonna weld on a few more D-rings for tie downs. I'm gonna switch over the lights to LED and I'm gonna rewire it with a seven-way plug because that's what my truck has. So, in order to do a better job of this, I definitely want to paint it. It definitely has rust on it. So, I want to see how well I can sandblast it down to metal, excuse me, bare metal, to have a clean surface to paint. Also, with me welding, I'd like to see if I can get to bare metal without having to grind spots. So, what I bought was the very cheapest attachment sandblaster I could find on Amazon. Let me show you the components to that and then we're going to get going. Well here are the components that came with the sandblaster kit. Bear in mind you do have to have a pressure washer. This is an attachment to utilize your pressure washer to make a, a wet blasted media for cleaning metal and so forth. That said, it comes with about three basic components suction tubing which is ringed so it's rigid to help, uh, prevent collapsing the main attachment to your wand you want to make sure your wand has a quick connect on it to attach and then the siphon it also says to make sure you look at the instructions that when you're spraying this hose needs to be above the actual water line if not it's going to push water back through and blast water into your sand and then the pickup tube you can see it's got an opening for a second tube on here rather to allow air to pull in as you uh, pull media out as it's washing. And then of course a couple little clamps. That's all there is to it. The nice thing is you can use whatever media you want and in one of the discussions I saw about it on Amazon was people were just using simple play sand. So this isn't a critical project I'm working on. It's basic trailer cleaning. So instead of having to buy some high-end media, I basically got two $5 bags of 50 pounds of play sand at a local box store. So I'll put a link to this attachment kit in the description in case it's one you want to check out if it works out and it does anything. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to find this out together. As I said, no specialized media of any kind. This is just simple play sand about five bucks for a 50 pound bag double lumened untake down in there fed ready to go let me attach it to the pressure washer get it fired up and let's see what it does side note about the pressure washer in the description or options on Amazon it'll give you choices of what orifice size to use and that's based on your pressure and flow rate so this pressure washer is pretty basic 3000 psi 2.7 gallons per minute and it takes a 3.0 I believe orifice on the website so be sure and note the requirements of your pressure washer to make sure that it's the right size orifice you buy and like I said mine on this wand down here does have a little quick connect release to utilize the attachment piece There's the end result. It definitely knocked off the rust and got it back down to bare metal. You can see right in there how well it did. 
overall i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty happy with it for what i want to do here i think it's going to take off quite a bit of surface rust i'll probably have to still do a little bit of grinding on some spots to make good welds where i want to do that the amount of material consumed wasn't too bad that was a good couple minutes of washing there's what's still left in the bucket so probably only used about a third of that bag up so far all total this will probably be maybe 30 40 dollars worth of sand once i'm all said and done again make sure that that nozzle attachment the hose attachment stays on top of the wand so that it's drafting dry sand and not forcing water back down into your bucket i think it's a good value i'm gonna finish cleaning up this trailer uh, let me know what you think and like i said i'm gonna leave a link down in the description where you can purchase this if you want and if you want to see more of what i'm going to do with this trailer restoration leave me a comment down below i appreciate it and have a great day thanks for stopping by